Hello guys, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 51 of A Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but before starting this video I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell and follow me in this great adventure. Okay, now let's see what's going to happen because these humanoids are released. Are you ready to watch this? Let's watch it together. Oh no. They are all homunculus. That means there will be a problem. No, no. But this is something as an advantage for us because... No. If it's not completed... Yep. Whoa! See, it was better to conduct the experiment till the end. Uh oh, something went wrong. So what do we do now? I think you're the next one. You can't kill them. Uh oh. Oh, there is still... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's easy to open that door. There, that gate. Uh, whoa. I think you should do it. Whoa! <laughs> wow, Olivia, she's cruel, but... Ah, oh, you're persistent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh! That was the only... Oh! She didn't kill you, eh? He did it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. How can they fit them? There are so many. Thank you. Yeah, the fact that Scar. Ah! No! Oh, they have to find another way, and now all is on. Oh, and I'm. Uh, you are the, the only hope we have. It's like uh, envy. Ah, uh, if uh, people only knew. Oh, and I'm, where are you? Oh, no. Create a gate or something, yeah.
Yeah, but it's not enough. The only one is Ohenheim. <laughs> the ice cream is like a Uh oh. Don't forget about bricks. A uh. oh, bear. <laughs> no. He keeps sending this message. Exactly. No, he's not playing. No, he's sending a message. No. Exactly, exactly. Ah. Father. Oh no, ah, Kimberly. No. Oh no way. Uh. No, oh, no way! But what about all? Ah, uh, even me, Chabai, Envy! You can find a way, probably, because you had the same uh, way. Whoa! Oh, Mecha is so good! Disgusting. No, no, no. May Chang see. Uh, by coming back, you made a mistake. Scar was right. Here we are. And now he ain't. He ate lots of a philosopher's stone, that means. May Chang, see? Alphonse right now. Yeah, but exactly. He can do things, so... No, it's better if Marco is doing something. Because now we have a huge problem over there. Exactly, he doesn't care. Oh, 
No tú. ¿Eh? No. No. Well, now we have so many bottles started that... Wow, Olivia, that's not going to work. Maybe her brother is coming to save her? They should use what that Jijan used uh, with Edward um, in the forest. That was worth it. <gasps> no! No, Olivia, no! Brother! No! I imagined this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Oh, come on, Olivia. Say thank you. <laughs> uh, he knows it very well. <laughs> You are Mendoxai. Good job, Al, but be careful now because I think it would be really hard. No, he's so kind that he will never leave you over there. No, no. Uh, That is what Mustang is doing at the same time. What is that? <gasps> oh yeah! From that time when... Yes! Yes. Yeah. Exactly. That's a hard choice.
I understood. I mean, I understood. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow, this episode was something unbelievable. First of all, I want to say, see, if you don't conduct the experiment till the end, you can't pretend to know that everything is fine because there will be lots of problems. And in fact, in this episode, we saw that that military man wanted to start this uh, battle thanks to this homunculus. At the end of the day, he made a mistake because uh, he didn't care about the fact that the experiment was over or not, it was tested or not. He didn't care, he wanted to start everything and then he paid with his own life. So that was uh, something predictable because when you don't have the evidence of what you're doing, maybe later you're about to discover that there will be a mistake coming. Then look, uh, Mei Chang, if you could go back in time, it was better for you to go back home and don't come back to Central because now Envy is back and now we have to defeat him one more time or maybe greed can uh, tell him some things and he can uh, join them somehow as much as he did with edward when he went uh, down to hell do you remember he joined forces with edward and he could go out so maybe he can change his mind too who knows maybe what mei chan did was the correct thing instead of doing the opposite thing we still don't know we will have to wait to see these in the next episodes for sure but look whoa finally we understood that what was happening in the previous episode that means when pride was trying with the morse alphabet to connect with the father or in this case with Kimberly because I think uh, he was connected with the father and father sent Kimberly to save him it was correct uh, I mean he was uh, trying to send a code uh, thanks to this Morse alphabet but all didn't understand that and it's strange because usually all is the one who is discovering things uh, who is discovering the codes uh, who is discovering the key of the things but this time he didn't understand that there was something wrong. Brian was repeating the same noise for an entire day, so at least ask yourself, uh, doubt, uh, but he forgot because he thought, look, we are inside this uh, a sort of a cage, a sort of a cocoon, so nobody will come, of course. Uh, but mm, I'll be more cautious the next time, if there will be a next time. At the same time, we saw Olivia that was rescued by her brother, and I anticipated this too, because I think that thanks to this battle, even the relationship between uh, the sister and the brother will become stronger, and there will be the chance for them to regain their relationship and go on with this. I'm pretty sure that when there are bottles like this, the purpose is something good. Uh, we saw this in many other anime that when someone is rescuing you, then you're about to change your mind somehow. Let's see if uh, with Olivia this is happening or not. I'm pretty sure yes, because uh, 
she has a great shield in front of her own self because of what happened in her past life but also because of the experiences she uh, handled in bricks but absolutely i really think she likes her brother but she doesn't want to admit it or if she didn't like her brother till now she will start liking him because uh, he is about to save her uh, so I think that the end will be good, a good one. <laughs> talking about the Philosopher's Stone and talking about what this uh, uh, chimera told him now, I mean told all at the end of this episode, it makes sense because uh, we know that the brothers don't want to use the Philosopher's Stone to bring uh, Al's body back. But at the same time, I understand what he was uh, saying to all because he was uh, saying, okay, you don't want to use it for yourself, for your own purpose, but now we are facing the enemy. That means you can use this Philosopher's Stone made by lots of uh, lives sacrificed in order to produce it, in order to get this revenge, in order to let them fight uh, because they lost their lives. So it's like as if you join forces with all these people who lost their lives and you will be able to defeat the enemy, the same enemy who created this Philosopher's Stone and you can have this revenge for all the people who died because of them. And I really think, uh, yeah, just for this purpose, all agreed and now he's uh, turning into a... Uh, strong uh, antagonist of the enemy. Let's see what's going to happen in episode 52 because right now we are going to see how all changed, how all turned into something stronger than before. But I have to say that if Edward is about to discover that he used this Philosopher's Stone, probably he will not agree with this. But maybe Al is explaining him why, the reason why he used that. First of all, because there was nothing else left. Second of all, because there was not another choice to make. And third of all, because they were totally desperate. I mean, Al really wanted to save others thanks to this Philosopher's Stone. So the purpose here is something great and it's going against what the enemy is doing. Okay, let's see what's going to happen now because I'm really, really curious. What about Hohenheim? He's the only one who can save Edward and all the others who are facing these humanoids. Where are you? Come on, we need you. <laughs> let's see. Okay, I think for this episode, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned because next week I come back with episode 52 of A Form of the Alchemist Brotherhood. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Bye, guys. See you in the next video. Bye!